First of all, let's get on the same page. You are absolutely here to do big things in this world. You're here to do amazing work and to serve as many people as you are called here to serve with the amazing gifts and talents that you've been blessed with. I truly believe that you're here to do big things. And you're watching this because you've got big dreams. The problem, however, is you're not making as much progress on those dreams as you want or you haven't even taken the first steps. Now, and the solution I want to share with you here are five decisions you have to make because if you're not making progress right now on those dreams, it's probably because you haven't made these five de decisions. And let's dive in. But first of all, hang around to the very end because I will share with you one big idea as a bonus tip to help you maintain the momentum that you built after you make these five decisions and get started on your dream. So decision number one, you have to decide Decide what you want. Decide what you want. Okay, stay with me. I know this seems oversimplistic, but the truth is, have you actually made a decision about what you want? Or do you have hundreds or at least dozens of different things swirling around in your head about what you might want to do? These different dreams and aspirations. You've got to lock it into something specific within the context of your bigger dream. Let me give you an example. One component of my dream my big dream is to write and publish a book. I wanted to write and publish a book, or it used to be a dream, part of my dream. Uh, it's come to reality, secret revealed. I've written, a, I've published a book, but at one point it was just a part of my dream. I just had this vision of, I want to be a published author. And I had to get very clear on that piece of the overall dream. Yes, I want to write dozens and dozens and dozens of books. And yes, I want to make lots of videos like these that can encourage and inspire and empower and equip people like you who are big dreamers that want to go after their greatest potential. But one piece of that dream was to write and publish one book. So as you're watching this, how clear are you on specifically what you want? Write it down right now. I hope you're taking notes. And if you're not, write it in your phone or uh, you can certainly just grab a piece of paper and put pen to paper and write it down. But Or sometime after this video that you watch. But you have to decide what do you want? And then number two decision you have to make. Why do you want it? You have to decide why you want this thing that you just decided on in the first decision. Why do you want it? I know, again, it sounds simple, but have you actually done it? It's those simple and easy foundational steps that most of us don't actually do because we think they're so simple and so easy that they can't actually be one of the keys to unlocking the doors to our biggest dreams and goals. But it's true. It's the simple fundamental basics that actually help you unleash your greatest potential and move forward faster towards the life that you want to create by achieving these goals, by going after what you want. So you have to know why you want it. So why did I want to write and publish a book? Well, First of all, I really believe that writing and publishing a book could truly serve other people. I'm such a, I love to learn, I love to consume knowledge, and I love to teach. I love to share the ideas that I'm coming across. I love to share what's working in my life in hopes that it reaches someone in a way that inspires them or encourages them or gives them one little nugget of an idea that they can take into their own lives to expand who they are and to create bigger and better results in their life and to move forward faster. So those are just some of the reasons why I wanted to write the book. Additionally, I knew for certain and know for certain still today that writing a book elevates your credibility in the eyes of other people. So from a professional standpoint, I knew that writing a book could help me achieve my longer term, bigger goals. And it's come to fruition. I've written and published this book and you know, sometimes I tell myself, oh, it's not that big of a deal. But I still have people saying, wow, that's absolutely incredible that you wrote and published a book. And they're just so impressed by it. And so you've got to understand your reasons why you want to get whatever you're going after, whatever that dream is or whatever that piece of your bigger dream is. And so as you're moving forward and you're making these decisions, the third thing you truly have to decide
What will you get? And I know that sounds so weird and it might even feel like it's part of this why do you want it, but it's slightly different and here's why. What you'll get in the process of pursuing your dream is that you'll become a better person, you'll become more capable, you'll maybe meet more people, you'll build new relationships, you'll open up doors to opportunities that you never could have experienced before. To me, that's slightly different than the why do you want it. The why might be these bold, audacious, big, purposeful things, and the what might seem a little bit simpler, but are still vitally important to consider as you pursue those dreams that you're going after. So you've got to know what are you going to get in the process. And I know very often in society today, we talk about what are you giving in the process? And that's great. That's important. That's vital to know what are you giving? What are you contributing? Because I believe that you wouldn't have any kind of goal to go after, any goal that you want, unless it was a dream or big goal that would bless and serve other people in your process, on your path of pursuing it. So I just, I believe inherently as you pursue big goals and go after big dreams, you will be serving and helping other people. You have to. A big goal doesn't come to you. A big dream doesn't come to you. Isn't laid on your heart if it's not meant to help and serve even more people. And so I believe that you've got to also ask yourself this question. I know it sounds selfish, but that's part of what you do when you're going after a big dream. What will you get? And another question you might ask yourself is, who will you become? Because what you might get is a new version of yourself. And if you can get a new version of yourself, then you're in a better position to go to your next level. You see, I think we get caught in this hypnosis of, oh, once you get to be a certain way, you don't want to change because then you're a new person and people might think differently about you. Well, the truth is this, my friend, if we don't change, if we don't become a new person, we can't go to a new level. We have to constantly figure out who must I become in order to go to my next level. And frankly, that's a big part of what this book that I wrote is all about. Attract your potential, become the best version of yourself and achieve your biggest goals faster is all about becoming the kind of person that can achieve bigger goals. It's about becoming the kind of person that the right people want to come into your life and be around you so they can help you on your path, on your journey, and you, likewise, can help them as well. And as you help them and they help you, you create even more value in the world. It's one of these things where one plus one equals way more than two. And so as you're thinking about the dream that you have, that you want to get started on, these first three decisions are vital, but this fourth one is really where the rubber meets the road. You must decide on the first easiest step. The first easiest step, it's so easy. I know, it's so easy to think about the next 1,700 steps on your journey. It's easy to think, well, I gotta have this in place and that in place, and I gotta do this, and I gotta do that, and then I've gotta do this and that. How am I gonna be prepared for step number 17 if I'm not yet prepared for step number three or number two? So I need to think about those things. And it's easy to get overwhelmed. And probably you may have even decided some of these other things, but you haven't decided on the first easiest step. That is the place that most people get stuck because they make things so complex in their mind. They think about everything they have to do instead of the first easiest step. So another example I'll give you is back in 2016, I made a decision to make videos publicly and put them online. So I started making my first YouTube videos in September of 2016. And as I thought about making those videos, there's so many complexities to it. What camera do I need? What audio? How do I set it up? What's the lighting? What's the background? Like literally all the stuff is what I was thinking about. But at the end of the day, I realized the first easiest step was to grab my phone, put it up on a little tripod. I had this little tripod that was like, I don't know, 10 bucks on Amazon. It was the rinkiest, dinkiest little thing. But I just set it up and I sat next, I literally sat on the floor to record my very first direct-to-camera YouTube video that I published publicly. And so I knew that I wanted to create lots of YouTube videos. Actually, I had a goal of making 100 videos in a row, 100 days in a row. I did a 100 video challenge and I did it. I actually went to 150 videos. It was so incredibly powerful for developing my ability to be on camera. Every video got a little bit better. But the only way I could get to 150 plus videos was to start with one. 
And that was my easiest first step. And then decision number five, it's vital because you can think of the easiest first step and that's great and that's gonna get you moving in the right direction. But you have to decide No matter what, do not quit. You can never, ever give up on this thing once you've decided what you want and started to go after it. Now, you might be listening to this or watching this and thinking, so you're telling me once I decide a goal that, and a dream that I want 30 years from now, I can never stop going after it? That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this one piece of the dream that you said you wanted, until you accomplish it, until you make it happen, do not quit. The example of writing my book is I remember being 13,000 words in, just sitting, I, like it was yesterday, sitting there looking at the screen and I was like 13,000 words into writing a book that needed to be like 60,000 words to be ready to finish it up and publish it. So I'm sitting there 13,000 words and I actually remember thinking to myself, what else am I going to write about? I feel like there's literally nothing else to put out there. Like I'm exa I'm, I've exhausted all of my ideas. There's nothing else to share. And I felt totally stuck. But I knew what I wanted and what I wanted was to publish a full book. I wanted to have a spine. <laughs> I wanted it to be enough that I could have a spine and put my name and the title on it. Not just to make it lengthy for lengthy sake, but I knew that I had enough to make a substantial, significant, high value book. But I was 13,000 words in and I was like, this is not where I want to be. I wanted to be closer to 60,000, 50 to 60,000 in the range of what I finalized with my book. And so I had to remind myself that no matter what, I was not going to quit. I was going to get to the end result that I wanted of publishing the book. And I did because I decided, I didn't just think about it like, what am I going to quit? Am I not? No, I decided I will not quit no matter what. And by the way, the other things that came to my head all the time were different book ideas. Oh, I want to write this book. Oh, I want to write that book. And I just kept getting distracted. And I kept thinking, well, maybe I'm writing the wrong book. Maybe I need to write a different book. But I decided no matter what, do not quit. And my friend, your dreams are possible if you do not quit. If you just keep going, I know for certain that you can accomplish amazing things and I'm about to share with you this one idea that will help you to not quit but give me a, another minute here to share with you the final thing so along with deciding not to quit the last thing and you've probably realized this but it's not a decision it's just a thing you gotta do you gotta do <laughs> you gotta take action you gotta look at this first easiest step and decide no matter what you're not gonna quit and then go back and take that first step because you can think about the step all day long and then you're gonna think about the next step and the next step and you're gonna again get caught in this vicious cycle of thinking and thinking and thinking and not doing. But if you want to get started on your dream, you have to do. You have to take that first step. You have to boldly, courageously move into it. And notice I didn't say fearlessly. Sometimes I say fearlessly, but I think the correct thing to say is courageously audaciously because no matter what fear is going around you in your life, no matter what fear is coming to you, no, mo no matter what fearful things you see happening around you, you got to step into it. you got to lean into it and you have to take the action. You have to say no matter what's coming up in my life, no matter what fears I'm feeling, I'm going to step up. I'm going to move forward because I am dedicated to this dream that I want to create and bring to fruition. No matter how small or how big you think your dream is, your dream is your dream. And that, my friend, makes it big. That makes it important. And that makes it something that you need to never quit on. Yeah, the dream might change and mold and get repainted into a different kind of vision and picture as you move forward and take step after step after step. That's why I believe it's important to never give up, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't pivot at times on the bigger dream. But on the idea or the thing you want within the bigger dream, you can never quit. You gotta just produce it, because there's a reason that you decide you want to make it. You know, I never quit on that 100 day challenge of making my YouTube videos. I just kept going, I kept publishing, I kept publishing. Even when nobody was watching, I kept publishing, I kept publishing because I knew something great was gonna happen by me doing it. Not that I expected one to go viral and I was gonna become famous with millions of followers, but I knew in the process I was going to become 
a new kind of person, a higher skilled person, better at communicating direct to camera. Now I'll tell you, I didn't make the decision that I was gonna make a video a day for the rest of my life. I said, I'm gonna make a video a day for 100 days. I went 150 days and I quit. Maybe it was 153 days and I stopped. I was just done. And the idea or the dream of producing and publishing more YouTube videos that could inspire and encourage people, I'm back at it. And I've got a goal this year of publishing a high quality, hopefully inspiring, encouraging YouTube video every single day this year. So I'm back on another goal as part of the bigger vision. But that doesn't mean by the end of this year, I'm not going to say, you know what, next year, I'm not going to do a video a day. Maybe I will, but I don't have to. Because the part of that bigger dream is to make videos consistently. And for this year, it's about making a video every day, but it might not be that way next year. So my friend, what I'm trying to tell you here is this. Here's the point. Decide on the dream that you want. Start to go after it. And if at some point you need to pivot or change, that's okay. You can do that. You can't, you don't have to decide on a dream today that you're going to do for the rest of your life. But I imagine there are parts of that dream that you need to accomplish and do this year and go after this year. And so I hope this, these five decisions are things that you're going to start to make. And by the way, the bonus thing, the bonus idea that I want to share with you is to tell other people about your dreams. I'm not just saying put it out there on YouTube or Instagram or whatever social media. I am suggesting that the people close to you that you know will encourage you and keep your fire lit so you're excited to take action and to do this part of your decision, which is to no matter what, not quit. If you tell the certain people in your life who you know will encourage you and support you, that support and encouragement will help you to just keep going. And if you're loving this video and you're glad that you're going on this journey of your dream and you know you need to stay encouraged and inspired, go and watch this next video popping up on the screen right here because I know it will help you to stay encouraged, inspired and fired up to go after your biggest dreams. And I know my friend in, in that pursuit, challenges will come up and I just want to encourage you no matter what comes up, no matter what challenges you face, just keep going.